Tonight we're out to watch some local live music to show you how to get around tricky, low-lit situations while shooting a band. Indoor live music can be exceptionally difficult to photograph, especially in smaller, more intimate venues. The low light requires us to push our camera's settings to their limits while photographing a lively set of fast movement, while often not being allowed to use flash. However, there are perks to such scenarios. With bright, vibrant lights and interactive crowds, the results can be rewarding. First off, you'll need the right lenses to make the most of the set. A wide lens is essential for small spaces to fit in the whole band and crowd, as are fast lenses. We're using a 17-40mm and a 70-200 f2.8 lens. The lack of light requires us to use the widest apertures to let enough light into the lens. Check with the venue to see whether flash lighting is permitted, although in most cases you'll have to make do with the continuous lighting available. It is also worth checking how long you are allowed to shoot for, as with many larger gigs photographers can only shoot the first three songs, so again, check with the venue beforehand. We're going to shoot in manual mode, as with the fast pace and inconsistent lighting, we can keep on top of what our camera is doing at all times, while being ready to get the lights just how we want them. Open up the aperture to let as much light into the lens as you can. Take a test shot to get the ambient light correct. Check your histogram to see how much of the exposure is clipping. Ideally, we don't want to see any of the spikes falling off either end of the graph. When there is one prominent light, such as this image where the bands are lit up blue, we can set our histogram chart to show the exposures of the RGB colours by pressing the info button while in playback mode to cycle through the histograms. Make sure that your camera is set to shoot in RAW to salvage as much detail as possible in the shadows and highlights. As both the bands and the crowds will be moving around quite a lot, aim to keep your shutter speed set to about 125th of a second or higher. Get yourself into a good position where you can clearly see the band. Sitting close up to the stage with a wide lens gives a great immersive perspective, but be aware of obstacles on the stage blocking your view. Most commonly, mic stands can ruin a shot by being placed in front of each band member. Keep to the side of them for a clear view, or use them as a prop waiting for the singer to lean in on the stand for a more dramatic pose. Another way around this is to shoot the stage from the side. With backlighting this can be perfect for highlighting your subjects with a rim light while capturing the expression on their face. It is also worthwhile bringing along a standard telephoto lens to get close-up details of the band from across the crowd. The main challenge is timing and knowing what to look for. All stages are different, but for us, watching the acts, we can see that the backlights of the stage flashing gives us the most atmospheric light. Conveniently, these lights tend to be reserved for the most upbeat parts of the act. Listening in for when the songs liven up can give you a good idea of what to expect. With strobe lights, set your camera's drive mode to continuous to make sure that you catch them. Along with the lighting, keep an eye out for good poses by the band, and more importantly, interactions between them and the crowd. These moments capture the essence of the night, giving your images a more intimate feel rather than just a nicely lit guitarist. This can require some patience and carefully watching all of the band members. I like to keep my autofocus point central in these situations as I find it slightly quicker to focus in a rush, knowing that it is in the centre of the frame. Half press your shutter and then swiftly recompose to frame the shot. Finally, events with such low, inconsistent light result in sacrificing quality for the perfect composition. The lights tend to keep the band quite well lit at ISO 1600, but the crowds remain in the dark. Here it is often better to capture the moment regardless of quality. Push your ISO up to 3200 to increase the sensitivity, and if needed, lower your shutter speed a touch. With a wide shot, we won't pick up on motion blur as easily, and when we do, as long as something is sharp, the movement adds to the lively feel of the night. Often a shutter speed of 1 50th can capture a great shot, especially with image stabilisation, it's better to have a clear shot than an underexposed fine grain. So if you fancy a new challenge, why not try heading down to your local venue and see if you can capture a memorable night?